Hello, fellow collectors, and today we'll be talking about Transformers Legacy United Dino King. Now, Dino King is made up of six different Transformers. We have Daru, Yokoru, Raru, Karu, Garu, and Dor Goru. So, on the side here, we have a box art here, top part and the bottom part. And on the back, we see all six robots with Dino King transformed. On the left side, we have the artwork. Very nice. All the Trepeticons, Autobots, Maximals, and Decepticons. So on the bottom here, we have the tech spec for Dino King. Please pause to read. So on the side, we have the same artwork as we did before. And on the top is the same robots once again. So let's get it on the scale and see how much it weighs. So it's coming in at one pound, 1.2 ounces. So let's get it off the scale and out of the box. So all you do is open up this, it opens up the tape and pull it out. You'll see us in the cardboard here. On the back, we see all the little wire connectors and comes with instructions and instructs and a warning so let me go ahead and file that in a receptacle so on the front here we see just a plain box and here are the accessories held on by tape so let's go ahead and get them out and look at them and see how cool they are hey, oh, man, damn it. okay oh, man. now that we have them out of the box we can see the six figures come with these accessories here and it's cool, they come with lots and lots of accessories to form Dino King and weapons for the smaller bots. Now first we'll go ahead and look at Kakuru. And yes, it is a Triceratops, yellow, black, and white. Now you do see this peg on the back and you just simply take the head and put it in that little piece there and attach it to the rear. Now yes, it is a little small tail, but it is a tail nonetheless very nice very cool so we'll go ahead and take that off now to transform him all you really do is take the legs here the white section and push it back and pull it down now the legs here you can either fold them up or keep them down a little bit for extra balance the choice is up to you I like mine up now for his arms or his chest we just pull that down to form the head arms fold out and just rotate over and there you can see the hand there same thing for the other side and we just bring these out for the shoulder pads or the wings very nice looking guy now I did not get the original um, Dinobots version because I thought it was kind of uh, bad that they had the Combiner Wars version and then went to the smaller versions I still like the Combiner Wars versions better but anyway, now I didn't get the combiner or the smaller version and you can take this weapon and just set it in his hands or you can attach it to his back. Now if you do attach it to his back you want to turn this head around so he's not having that displayed in his robot mode. And we'll just simply take that, that way you keep all the accessories together. Now he does come with our, the instructions give him this little gun here and this axe part um, I thought it would be cool you can just set that there and do the axe but he can't really hold this weapon or attach it to his shoulder or arms you can't really do anything so you'll need just another little piece I'll get to that in a second but he does also come with the gun in his robot mode you just simply push it in Oops, let me put it back in now there we go and you need this little piece right here you just simply take it push this part there turn it up and then take the axe head and put it there and you can do that too it, it really depends on how you want to show it but I like it like this it very cool he has a little axe and it comes with the gun very nice now next we'll go ahead and look at Garu let me just set him over here and we'll go ahead and get his little part here now Garu 
has one little attachment for his backside. It is the hand accessory. You just flip it over the hand and then just plug it in at the bit. Now the our hand does go up and down so you can simulate the hammer for this dino bot. Now the legs do go forward and back for all of the robot or the all of the alt modes. No head movement or anything like that. Um, some of them don't, but just simply transform it. All you do is take that part out, and we'll go ahead and start with the legs here. Pull those out. Take these and go them to the front. Now we have a peg and a hole. Just a peg and hole, peg and hole. And then we'll take this section here. Pop open the arms, and this expose the chest. You can see the head. Just fold that back, and there we go. Flip this around. Pull out the legs and voila. Now you can hold the tail sexery as a gun here. Just turn over the hand and pew 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 pew. There we go. Very nice little guy. Now his articulation shoulder can go in and out. Does a nice T-pose. Rotates around. No articulation in the waist or the arms. Head can rotate right and left. Waist rotates. Does a nice split and has it forward and back with a single bend in the knee. Now, most of the guys have the same kind of articulation, and you can move these legs in the back here. And you can see here, now I'm going to pull here. And for the next part, let's see, let's go ahead and do Goru. So Goru is a big part, and he just takes this section here and just attaches it to the legs. Um, yeah, not much. And now you can take this part here, it says in the instructions to put it on, and then he has a little gun for his back section. The mouth doesn't open, unfortunately. So we go ahead and take that part off and take off the little tail section there. And to get this guy transformed, we'll first start at the head. We're going to pull these sections out, pull those leg or those shoulder pieces in, take these arms, spread them out, take the legs, pull it forward. Take the arms all the way out. Take this section and fold it all the way down. And we'll just go ahead and flip these sections here so they are out of the way and in the back. Now for the hands, you can rotate them around a little bit. Legs does a nice little separation there. But they are pretty much solid. Now you can take the green tail and add it as a weapon for him you can get it to fit in there. Some of these are very, very tight. I'm afraid to kind of break them. And you can use this part as a mace if you can get it to fit. Like I said, this one's uh, being a little stubborn. But you just work at it and work at it and you'll need it. There we go. So that is Guru. Now for the next bot, we'll go ahead and work on Yokuru. And Yo Kuryu is just simply swoop in another form. So we just flip these legs down here, take these wings, fold them over, take this chest piece or the beak and flip it, turn the head around. There we have the swoop head. And we pull these out and we have the arms. Very nice. Very, very cool. Now we're going to go ahead and give this guy his weapon. Now he has the arm hand section. Just flip that over there. And yeah, it's a big old silly gun. But you can see here, you just take it and then you can just pull it down. And he's got this big old blocky gun hand. Pew, 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 pew. All right. That is a very big old gun for a little guy. So next we're going to work on, let's see, which one? Okay, next uh, we're going to do my favorite out of the bunch, and that is Doru. Now, Doru is a nice little blue and white stag. I always like Snarl, but his legs do not move. The head does not move because it is a simple, just little transformer. Now, you first just take these legs, and it is tight. So I just flip those over to that point, take these parts here, and then we'll flip them inside like so. 
then pull the legs straighten them out take these arms and hands and pull them down and we'll take this tail part and separate it out and once we're done there we'll just simply turn around the head and there we go now we have him in his robot mode now he comes with this cool little scythe here and he also gets this little sword well it's not so little to him it's a sword so very cool looking guy like I say one of my favorites I just love the, the blue and the white just very nice contrast now the scythe here can go up and down you can use it as any way you see fit but yeah so we'll work on the last one here and that's Raryu yeah now this is the sludge version also legs and head do not move very blocky dino mode so not much going on there so all we simply do is take this back section and flip it over to get the legs you see they just simply come on out here and it does have a little bit of a rotation here so you can move them out of the way if you need to but that part is used for the combined mode you can see here kinda looks funny if you leave it on the outside but so you're supposed to leave them on the inside but mm, anyway so we simply just rotate out around bring the chest part out to form the hands you might have to move those legs out of the way so here we have the arms and like I say you can take this and move it out move it around if you don't like the way it looks um, however that gives him the uh, the wide bow-legged look here and uh, yeah it's just one of those things that you don't really stand that well if you try to do it in this mode or this pose but you know now the head rotates around arms rotate all the way around also legs have the or the waist does a little rotation the legs go forward and back side to side you can do that much of a split now he does have a thigh rotation but no articulation in the legs or foot now those sections do go forward for an elbow or a knee bend but that's about it As you can see here yeah it just goes and turns around that's all it really does well like I say you can't really get them really situated in that mode but uh, you can like I say play around with them but like I say it just doesn't it, yeah, it, whenever their legs it just looks a little blocky so they're supposed to go in so that's what I want to do right now put them in and you know, I wish it just folded and gave him a little bit longer leg now he does have these parts here you simply have this peg inside um, you can see here is the foot with lots of missiles on the foot and you have this rotation part at the top so it's very cool now this guy could hold it there you know or put it on his back but the instructions show that you take this peg here and you will pull this out and put it on his arm so he has a very big old arm cannon with missiles and you do the same thing for the other side just pull this out and then attach it to the arm and uh, there you go now he has his missiles and his weapons all ready to fight the Autobots and here we go here is the Dino Force very nice looking group of Decepticons now I always like these guys in the cartoons they were a little bit more goofy than they were effective but that was to add humor into the show so I quite liked him but that was a funny part they kept on trying and trying but anyway so let's go ahead and start getting these guys in shape for Dino King so let's move these guys out and first we'll go ahead and start with the head Kakuru and we'll just take these and fold them back over just like we're going back into Dinobot mode we'll just take this fold these over fold this back make sure the legs are all there now the instructions have you going from Dino mode for this guy so let's go ahead and put it now you want to fold the left leg in first or I'm sorry the right leg 
and then the left leg over that. So here we is back in his dyno mode and you'll just see I don't like the the parts because they're hollowed inside you know or solid inside and hollow outside but that's the way they go I guess for a robot mode it looks better so we'll just take the head here separate it from this section and you can go ahead and add that section back if you want to so first thing we're gonna do is break apart his shoulder cannon or his shoulder pieces here which will expose a peg and then we'll take these legs and you'll see it has a little peg and a hole holes in pegs pegs in hole same for both sides now you will just line them up and insert them in then you'll take these legs and fold them up a little bit take the head and plug it in that hole and voila there is the head section now the next thing we're going to look at is we're going to go ahead and take these off of him and fold these back in and then we'll go ahead and get these out of the way now what we're going to do with this guy is just take Raru take these sections out fold them up now there is a little peg and a hole just slide that in it's easier to do it this way just slide it in and then slide it to there now his arms will stay up all you do is just insert the head into that little cavity there and then you're going to plug the arms in so there's two pegs and holes for his shoulders and head and then we'll just take these sections and line them up and plug it in for a nice secure connection and we'll see there we go all right now next thing we see is we have this part hard now we're going ahead and work on the leg and to do that we're going to take oh, let's put him up there and fall down again so we'll take Daru and go ahead and Doru will go ahead take the weapons out and we're going to go ahead and take his head rotate it around take the tails and close up that head we're going to take the section here, but it's the back section that I need to take off, not the forward section. So, uh, 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 there we go. Okay, so what we want to do is take that off, and we want to take these. this section here is pull it out to form the connector for the leg. And then what we're going to do is simply just take these arms rotate them around now they do connect together at the top and at the um, bottom here you'll see that we have some pegs and they go in the holes they go in there like that now the top section is a little tricky you got to line it up just right and then it will unplug everything it's not very solid unfortunately so we'll take this push these together as much as we can and try to get them in the hole there but they do fall come out a lot easy so we're going to take the legs and we're going to basically take them and push them in the little pegs and you can go ahead and connect them together before you try to do that um, that way they're all the way connected so you'll see here I have to go in here push them together and then voila forms the leg part now we're going to take that chest part that we had out before and we are going to connect it to the front here now all you want to do is line them up holes and if you try to do it the wrong way it will fight you and not let you um, do it that way but you'll see here these parts just keep on coming out it's just not a pretty picture but simply take these and eventually you can get them on like so and there you go now we're going to take this leg part here and we're just simply going to tuck it in now it does have a little section here that connects to there so all you do is simply just push it there and you'll see it does form a nice little connection piece there so all you do is take the leg and pull it into the peg let me push these together a little bit they look a little separated and you'll just push it in there for the connector piece so there we go so let me take the lens down back up a little bit so I can get more in the picture they're a little bit taller now than the smaller little robots and we're going to go ahead and look at the next leg 
and that is Goru and we're just going to simply take him and put him back in dino mode the instructions have you um, starting from dino mode on some of these but you don't need to but this one you yeah, actually do need to go to dino mode so we'll go ahead and take this and push it back up and you'll see here I'm just showing off the rotation but you simply just take these push them together and then push them in the back now what you want to do is like I say get it into the dyno mode and uh, there we go now the one thing I noticed about um, this figure is whenever you have the tail part on um, his legs look kind of goofy in the front so I've been moving them to the side and taking the ankle parts you know just give it a little bit more oh, but he looks like he's uh, a big hipped Tyrannosaurus Rex um, but you know the tail there it holds them up pretty good but yeah those legs um, yeah just a little awkward but what we'll do is go ahead and take this part off here take these legs and we're what we're going to do is take the top section pull the arms away a little bit take this top section and break it out and then we're going to fold it over the head just like so and you'll notice the peg part is in the back then what we're going to do is take this legs here fold it over and we're going to rotate it I'm sorry we're going to take this section and we're going to rotate it all the way up just like so now we will just naturally clip into there take these ankles fold them over and then collapse in the arms connect them together and then bring that head back down to form the leg then we'll take this leg part here and it will just go into there and sometimes you gotta uh, be sure to have it right because if you don't it will not work now he does have little connectors parts in the green here and you gotta get those aligned so we'll just take this and push it in and push it in and try again and try again because sometimes it just doesn't want to go in just right but once you do have it in it's uh, okay connection it will come out once you start moving it around but now we just take this and push it in and the one thing that I did notice is these arms if they would have just included a little peg for those then it wouldn't look so wide so you have to use a wide stance for this guy so all you simply do is you can try to rotate them around or push them out of the way or you could even just take them off that would be up to you but for me I'm just gonna have to have this guy standing in a wider stance um, you can pull the ankles out a little bit just to give him that wider stance just like so just so he doesn't look so crowded with his legs now we'll go ahead and start on the arms and first we'll go ahead and start with Garu now we'll just take Garu take that out fold him back into dino mode push the head back up the arms push them all the way together and connect them back now, even though we'll go ahead and take this guy right back into part way mode we'll go ahead and just take the leave these legs in there but what we'll go ahead and do now is take these legs fold them back out turn it around and then we're going to take this section and pull it out this will be the connector part for the left arm just take that all the way down very nice now you're going to leave the legs here now you want to take these sections and the instructions have you moving them up that choice is up to you you can leave them down but you take the arm piece and you have a little connector piece there and one at the top so you just take this and slide it in there and it should fit very snugly which it does and then you just simply going to make sure that arm is in the right or the hand is in the right section and then just plug it into the left arm so here we go plugging it in and there we go now let's work on the right arm and for this we're going to take Yukuryu and transform him back into his dino mode here now we're going to take this section and whoops I forgot don't turn your head so we just take this fold it back up take the arms fold them in take the 
legs and pull out the wings and then push this section together and then fold them up just like it says in the instructions so and now what we're going to do is take this section and basically you'll see here it goes into connecting but we're going to take the legs now and we're going to pull them back out like so and twist them around to where it's facing there we're going to take the wings and arms I'm sorry and pull them out just so it shows there take these wings and fold them in till they clip in now one thing I saw is you can clip the l arms already in there the instructions don't say to do that but it just says take the arms and then you'll take these hands and push them back now the one thing that I'm finding out with this guy is whenever I push these wings back they pop off so as you can see here oop, pop off and then we'll try to put it back on pull these wings back out and you want to take these arms here and just push them back now it the instructions say you connect them and everything I didn't really see that um, a connector part for that so I found my way is just a little bit different so I take this section and I push it all the way back and I'm going to push it underneath the thing so yeah pops off which is fine and then what I'm going to do is just connect it there you just hive it uh, have it all there and rotate this around and then we're going to take this section do the same kind of thing that we did on the other side just have it to where it's there against the wing and hidden I kind of hate having those hands exposed pops off again I, this section just yeah anyway so we'll take this section pop it back on once again you see there it hides the the arms a little bit better so I'm gonna do the same thing for this side and I said this side works a little bit better for that take that hide it there now we're going to take the arm hand section and insert it into this bottom part it has some pegs and holes and uh, there we go for that now the connector piece is just on the back here we'll pull this down and connect it and all we simply do with this connector piece is go ahead and rotate the arm or hand around and plug it into the shoulder now these guys actually have a pretty good articulation the arms rotate around the legs go forward and back um, the head just stands there and rotates around now his weapon does transform in and of itself here is the scythe here and the axe part just take everything apart this part will fit on the top of the scythe and but here is the bottom you just simply attach this to the scythe then you'll take that connector piece insert it to the top of the figure and, uh, and then you'll grab the axe section here and just insert it into this side here very nice and then you'll take the little sword and do it to the top so very nice looking axe for this guy he can hold it pretty good and then now for the weapon the gun here you'll just take the little gun and attach it to the forward section and then insert it into the hand you could either have it left or right now any parts you have left over can plug into the robot modes here is guru's uh, part you just simply put it on and now you have all dino king all together with all his accessories in and of itself so you won't lose anything this way now he's pretty tall in this mode looks pretty nice for a little combiner here it is more micro sized than anything but it's still very cool now this guy is coming in at eight and a half inches tall at the top of Yukuryu and his head is about seven and a half inches tall now this guy just came out from Hasbro Bro Pulse and if you get and look right now I think it is still up for sale I'll include the link below but as always remember to shop around like subscribe and keep collecting thank you and until next time bye bye